Right here at Revere TV, and this week we're going to do things a little differently here on Legends of Professional Wrestling. We're going to show you how it's done, behind the scenes, where we pull all these great mad classics from the Boston Garden all over New York, Providence, whether it be anywhere in New England. we got some great, great, great things to show you this week. We're going to show you Bedlam from Boston. Do you people remember Bedlam from Boston on Channel 25? It was before the Night of Thunder. That's right on WCW. It was before the Friday Night Smackdown that's now on Thursday night. It was before all the WrestleManias, and it was definitely before Monday Night Raw. So this week, I hope you enjoy Bedlam from Boston with all the great matches of who? The Boston bad boy Rocky Raymond. And incidentally, this year, that's right, WrestleMania, that's right, uh, WrestleMania of 2015. Oh, yeah, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, this right here, the man that did it all, the man that dropped the elbow from the top rope, the man that had all the moves. He had more moves than a bowl of jello. He had all the outfits, all the championships, and rightfully, he is being inducted into the WrestleMania Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. Rico! That's right, Bedlam from Boston this week. You're going to see in the background, we're taking clips from the great, great studio here, right in Revere, your source of community cable, right here, Revere TV, with who? The Boston bad boy, Rocky Raymond. And this week, we're showing you a little differently in the background. You can see, hey, Rocky Raymond got here, do you believe it? And they're going to get this big guy, Buck Slattery, this big man. Oh, he was out of the oh, I don't know, Appalachian somewhere. This guy was a big, big, big guy. Big Buck with Rocky Raymond right here on Bedlam from Boston. So enjoy this match and we'll be back with another great match from Bedlam from Boston. Minute time limit. In the corner to my left from Yukon Territory weighing 310 pounds, Buck Slattery. And his opponent in the corner to my right from San Francisco, California, weighing 228 pounds, Rocky Raymond. Well, Rocky Raymond's been with us before from San Francisco. Yes, he has. Uh, this is the first time I've seen old Buck. Wild Buck Slattery, 310 pounds from the Yukon Territory. The uh, Yukon, yeah, you know, I, I think he probably uh, drove his sled down here today. Uh, <laughs> we've got snow all the way down from the Yukon to here. I think he's more interested in fighting the crowd than uh, than his opponent in this case. What do you think? That, what do you think he had on? Was that, were those beaver pelts that he had on on the Yukon? It looked like that. I hope not, <laughs> because I know we've got a lot of animal lovers in the crowd today. So. <laughs> Two men trying to size each other up here on Bedlam from Boston, brought to you by the International Wrestling Federation. What is that picture on, on, on his trunks, uh, uh, Chris, uh, on Buck's trunks? Is that a moose? Uh, I hardly think that it happens to be the alligator. <laughs> He's not a preppy, I don't think. I don't think so. <laughs> Wild Buck challenging some of the uh, members of the audience here, our fans. Yeah, I think he'd better keep his attention in that ring, though. 
You can't let those fans upset you. You have a job to do in that ring, and you got to do it. While Buck seems to be well equipped to uh, handle a lot of situations. But Buck is uh, 310 pounds, and uh, he looks like he could lose about 60 of that. Arm drag there. Beautiful arm drag. And Buck, uh, Buck heads for the hills on that one. Hey, Buck, that's not the Yukon territory up there. <laughs> calling him moose yeah I, I think because of that moose on his trucks is what they're what they are talking about and just like i said he'll get in trouble if he if he keeps paying attention to those fans and not to what he's doing have you noticed that that buck didn't seem to be affected by those punches to the stomach at all no uh with all that blubber on him uh <laughs> how could it it's it's those good yukon flapjacks you know <laughs> Look at that disgusting look on his face. <laughs> Forearm smash to the chest of Wild Buck. A drop kick floors the Buck. There goes the Buck. Maybe the Buck will stop here. It didn't, though. It <laughs> Forearm smash, sending the Buck into a mad stage of uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> look at that, right into the turnbuckle. That's an ugly man, uh, Chris. Uh, you know, I hate to talk about people, but uh, I'd hate to meet him anywhere. <laughs> I heard that when the wild buck was born, the doctor slapped him, and so did his mother and father. <laughs> well, I'm not going to touch that one, Chris. <laughs> that chokehold right there. <laughs> Raymond's from San Francisco, California. Buck is strong, there's no doubt about that. One forearm putting Rocky right to the canvas. Picked him up in that body slam like nothing flat. Dropping an elbow smash right to the chin and the jaw of poor Rocky Raymond. I think Buck uh, uh, spat on him there, uh, Chris. A headbutt. It's hard to tell what effect that had on Buck. Oh boy, that whole ring shook. You see the moose on his trunks there. Or yeah, something. There, yeah, I can see it clearly now. I'm sure he's not in the preppy handbook. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he might have gone to Harvard? I, I doubt think it. Yale. Uh, <laughs> Harvard's up here. Yale is down there, so uh, that's where he went. What a crazed look in his face. That's what I was trying to get last time. He has a crazed look about him. Yeah, I think uh, his, probably his shorts are too tight. <laughs> oh, a headbutt to Rocky Raymond. I sure hope Rocky's head is made out of rocks to withstand that. Yeah, he's going to need a Rocky head for this. Oh, boy. Back body drop. That was beautiful. The whole ring again shook all the way over here to the announce table. It's interesting when Kowalski was on here earlier, the audience seems to pay a certain amount of respect. They might not like him, but they pay respect to Kowalski. Well, the man commands respect. He's been in the business a long time, and uh, you have to respect the guy who could stay in on top that long. With, with Wild Buck, at least, they seem to just dislike him in general, right? They, they really hate Buck, uh, probably because he kills little animals, too. Another shoulder block puts Rocky back on the canvas again, and... All right, Rocky coming back here. Hip roll. <laughs> Hip roll, yeah. Rocky trying to assess what to do next. A few punches right to the stomach of Wild Buck. An arm drag right across to the other side of the ring. Some of the fans would like to take on Wild Buck at about this point, I think. Well, the fans get carried away, but, you know, 
they forget that uh, these guys are professionals and I wouldn't want to get in the ring with them being an amateur. Forearm smash to the back of the neck. We just got word, by the way, that uh, Tony Ulysses had to have and some stitches to the top of his forehead there to um, stitch up that um, cut. It was rather bad, I understand. Well, I thought so. Uh, I noticed uh, all the blood that was coming out. I know that was a deep cut, so I figured Doc had to go back and take care of him. So we just got the report from, uh, from Dr. Uh, Goldstein a minute ago. So we're glad he's all right. Rocky Raymond having a chance to regain a little strength. is still all over him. Remind me to cancel my planned trip to the Yukon. Yes, mine too. Uh, not if Buck's going to be up there at the time. Oh, boy. Oh, it's automatic. Yes. That's automatic. Man handling the referee is just out of the question. That's true. That's automatic. While Buck is going a little wild there. Rocky Raymond. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has disqualified. Justice the winner of the match is Rocky Raymond. Winner of the match. Someone with the living legend Bruno San Martino. It's me, it's me, it's BBB. The only man that can bring the oldest, the best, the foundation of professional wrestling to Boston. Here he is, the living legend Bruno. Tell him a couple of words in Italian, Bruno. Well, a tutti voi cari paesani di qui di Boston, sono tanto contento di trovarmi qui in Boston, vi saluto a tutti e vi ringrazio sempre per tutti gli anni fa che mi avete dato tanto il coraggio e il supporto qui in Boston. And remember to watch Empire Pro Wrestling, the best of the best, the living legend is going to be there, the interview's coming, watch it from 10 to 11 on the grade 8 with who? The living legend! Well, thank you, Rocky, looking forward to it. The best there is. Thank Bruno you. San Martino, be there! Hey, we're back here, right here. We're going to show you another great match of Rocky Raymond against Ricky Sexton from Washington, D.C., a big, big legend back in the day of the old days of the WWWF. This guy here, handsome Ricky Sexton, can you believe it? And we're going to show you this week how it's done, how we pick the matches, where we pick the matches. Right here, Bedlam from Boston. This was a show that was way, way back in the days of all, oh, back before all the big shows that are on TV now. I hope you enjoyed this match with Rocky Raymond against Ricky Sexton. Of the hour, one fall match with a 10 minute time limit. In the corner to my right, from San Francisco, weighing 240 pounds, Rocky Raymond. And his opponent, from Washington, D.C., weighing 229 pounds, let's welcome handsome Ricky Sexton. One fall, 10-minute time limit, Matt Logan, referee. Well, here we go from Washington, D.C., in the blue tights with the blonde hair, though. It's our old friend, handsome Ricky Sexton. Some of us call him Tricky Ricky, as I tell you, he comes up with some swift moves here and there. And his opponent today is Rocky Raymond. Rocky in from San Francisco, fresh off the tour on the West Coast, in fact. Take down. And a headlock on uh, Rocky Raymond. But they were just under the ropes there. Chris, I was talking to Ricky Sexton a little bit earlier, and he also used to wrestle, I didn't know this, as Cyclone Ricky Sexton. The Cyclone, huh? Ricky knows how to handle himself in the ring. He is a, a seasoned veteran, as we call Absolutely. him. Absolutely. And so is fine, Rocky fine Raymond, wrestler. too. Yep. They know the holes. A kick out. Oh, boy. There we go with a body slam. Count of two, but of course, Ricky got out of that one. By the way, we want to clear everything up here. Ricky 
is not known as handsome Ricky Sexton. We just call him that because we like him. We think he's a handsome looking guy. Exactly. Right? He's a pretty humble guy, and he wondered about us calling him handsome, but he is good looking and very, very popular with all our female fans, Chris. And very well liked by the uh, male fans. Fine performer. It's amazing, before a lot of the matches, uh, we see some of the wrestlers out here, and they'll tell us about the latest things they've just done. Since Rocky Raymond told us he just come off a road trip out on the West Coast, it's interesting to find out this information so we can pass it along to you, too. Seems like we have a pretty even match here. Ricky Sexton saying, hey, he doesn't need the help of the referee. Whoop. Forearm smash into the chest of Ricky Sexton. Body slam, and that was a powerful one. But just enough of a kick out there by Ricky Sexton to make it through. Forearm smash. Right into the opposite turnbuckle. Even though those turnbuckles have padding, let me tell you, it smarts when you go in there with the kind of force that they do, either with your head, your back, or any part of your anatomy. was a reverse there, but if, unfortunately for Ricky Sexton, Rocky Raymond has his uh, feet under the bottom rope, or had them under there. Seems like we might have had a time problem there, and here comes Mel Simon. The time limit has elapsed. Curfew has elapsed. This match is declared a draw. Match is a draw. Well, there we go. We've had some interesting matches today and some great people back. Right here at Revere Beats and Saints, Goblin, you better be here all over the coast to coast from Boston to Bangor and back. I'm the Boston bad boy. I want to tell you about what's going on this week and all the great things. But remember, remember to watch my show on Wednesdays. You already know about that one on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And then in Saugus, we're going to be in Saugus from 9 to 10 and 10 to 11. So I want you to be there with me and Peanut and Bella. Be there. Hey, our next match is up. You enjoying this bedlam from Boston? I hope you are. It brings back a lot of memories for Rocky Raymond. This was before the Playboy, way, way before the Bad Boy. This was Rocky Raymond at his first TV taping. That's right. Bedlam from Boston was the number one show here in Boston on Channel 25. And we had all the great wrestlers on there, whether it be Killer Kowalski, Dominic DiNucci, Wow, Bo Curry, we had them all. We had a couple of guys in from California, Timothy Flowers. We had the Soul Brothers, Tony Lissis and Christopher Grant. We had them all here on Bedlam from Boston. Hope you enjoyed this guy here, Ed Bonzo, the monkey man, right here. Let's go to it right now, the monkey man. This match, wrestling fans, one fall match or to the curfew in the corner to my right. I demand a new referee. Where's the man? Who's in charge? I want a new referee. I want you to get me a new referee in here. I'm not going to wrestle if this man's going to referee my match. Ladies and gentlemen, in the corner to my right from San Francisco, weighing 225, Rocky Raymond. And his opponent in the corner to my left from Harrisburg, weighing 235 pounds, the monkey man, Ed Bonzo. One fall match or two curfew. Ed Bonzo not wanting to get involved here. He wants some real competition, he says. Well, Rocky Raymond is real competition for Ed Bonzo. And I can't wait to see what happens here. Bonzo doesn't want to get into the ring here with Rocky Raymond. Bonzo probably wants his monkey with him, huh? You know, he probably needs some help, right? And uh, Bonzo doesn't like the referee here either. They got some kind of a grudge going, too. Remember in our last week's match, our referee here got hit by Ed Bonzo. He had some kind of like uh, device on his hand, kind of like brass knuckle type of device. 
that uh, he used against that referee and that referee drop kicked him right out of the ring. And I tell you, Ed Bonzo has got something in for this referee. Oh! Oh, terrific. Rocky Raymond body slamming Ed Bonzo after Bonzo tried to go after the ref one more time. Attempted count out there. Only held for one, one count, though. Need three. That's according to the International Wrestling Federation rules and regulations. Ed Bonzo finally taking off his top. Top on or off, the action continues here on Bedlam from Boston. Another flip and a cover. Count of two. If I were the ref, I'd stay away from Ed Bonzo. He, Bonzo's as crazy as his monkeys. Crazy as his monkeys. The ref breaking up that hold. <laughs> Drop kick. Bonzo to the floor of the mat here. Headlock. Rocky Raymond hailing from San Francisco. Just back, in fact, after a very successful road trip on the West Coast. That was the monkey flip. Very appropriate for Ed Bonzo. Count of two, but no, no pin there. Rocky Raymond and Ed Bonzo in a matchup here. I think it's a real good one. Forearm smash, an elbow right into the chest of Rocky Raymond. That'll knock the wind out of anybody. going for the same smash but missed it. Rocky Raymond using the old smarts there. A flip. A cover. Count of two. Some of the fans are yelling bedtime for Bonzo. <laughs> Bonzo is not uh, appreciated by a lot of the fans. Or <laughs> by me. There we go with a body slam. Or a backbreaker. What will it be? Oh, right into the turnbuckle in the small of the back. Bonzo getting Rocky up to his knees, up to another, well, another workout in the turnbuckle there. But the referee was there. And a count of three, a count of three. Terrific. Uh -huh. Our referee in there kind of helping out Rocky Raymond at the last second. And Bonzo on the outside of the ropes. Rocky Raymond doing a job on him. Asking for some help from the referee. Another drop kick. Ed Bonzo can't win for losing tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match in four minutes, 45 seconds, Rocky Raymond. Winner of the match, Raymond. Rocky Raymond, the winner. Ed Bonzo stunned. I want you and talk. Talk's coming up. I want you. I want you, punk. We're right here. Oh, yeah, you were right here with the ladies, EPW champion. Can you believe it? She's right here at Revere TV, your source of community cable with who? The Boston bad boy, Rocky Raymond. That's right. Keep it tight. Keep it here each and every night on Wednesday nights. And Wednesday night, we get all the time slots with Ali Amber. Eight to nine. That's right. And that's the legends of pro wrestling. And then from nine to ten, we got what? Empire Pro Wrestling from 9 to 10, and we're doing it right here with who? The ladies, EPW champion. Can you believe it? Wow. I mean, I'm just elated to have you here in Revere. I can't believe it. I, oh, I touched that belt. It's unbelievable. You did a great job, and you're coming back right here. And we wanted to watch it with who? The ladies, EPW champion. Tell them, Amber. Tell them. Come down and see me retain this belt. 
August 20th at the Marshfield Fair. Be there! Hey, 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 it's Rocky Raymond, the Boston Bab. I hope you're watching all these great matches from Bedlam from Boston and watch this each and every week. That's right, on Wednesday night, keep it tight from 8 to 9, 9 to 10, and watch the legend. But this week we're showing how we do it in the back room. All these great, great controls and all these great studio. Oh, it's unbelievable right here in Via TV. We got it all, but we want you to watch this match right here with the beast. The beast, Nikolai Rasputin, he was a beast. I think I might have bit off a little more than I could chew in this match because I really, really had a tough time with this 325-pound monster right here. Bedlam from Boston. Our last match of the hour, wrestling fans, is a one-fall encounter or to the time limit. In the corner to my right from San Francisco, Weighing 235 pounds, the dynamic Rocky Raymond. And his opponents in the corner to my left, from Russia, weighing 285 pounds, Nikolai the Beast Rasputin. One fall match, two time limit. Oh, Nikolai, where'd he get that uh, skull from, Chris? Probably one of his opponents. <laughs> I wouldn't a, doubt that. A former opponent. Wouldn't doubt that at all. Uh, we have to say that Nikolai is a genuine wacko, I think. Uh, he I'd is a that. little off-center. In fact, a lot off-center. I'd say that. <laughs> Referee informing him he's got to get that out of the ring and pronto before the match starts. I thought he was going to use that uh, skull for something, and he did. Uh, Knees right into the stomach area. Of Rocky Rocky Raymond. Raymond. He won't allow Rocky to get his uh, his coat off there. I bet you Rocky wishes he was back on his road trip out to California. Nikolai not even letting him give the chance to take his uh, his jacket off. Oh, over the top rope. Nikolai working on his back there. Kick right to the back of Rocky Raymond. Now Rocky will have the chance to take off his jacket. We hope. This match may be over before he gets it off, uh, Chris. Rocky favoring his back there. Nikolai working on him out there. Right into the top of the turnbuckle here, the outside part, which is uncovered. Forearm smashed to the back of Rocky Raymond. Rocky not been able to regain his composure here. Right into the top of the turnbuckle that time again. Nikolai back in there. What a slam. Unbelievable. He was at least six feet in the air is back tell you if that was either one of us our backs would be dislocated probably by now. probably mine almost did just looking at it a choke on rocky raymond by nikolai nikolai is now biting him nikolai is one man you want to avoid in any alley at any time hey working on his beard there rocky raymond working on the beard of nikolai Vol nikolai rasputin Trying to reverse a couple of times there. Now a foot right into Rocky Raymond, smashing each other. Trying to lift oh, oh. Nikolai up. What a body slam. That's 320 pounds he picked up that time, Chris. Nikolai again after Rocky Raymond. I have a feeling that Rocky has been injured in this match, too. Uh, I think he, he got a hernia from picking him up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it any time you want, I tell you. I wouldn't dare attempt to uh, pick up Nikolai. Squaring off there. 
Referee trying to keep some semblance of order here. It's kind of difficult in this match. Here we go. Surprise. Drop kick. Takedown. Kick right into the stomach. Now Nikolai is trying to choke Rocky Raymond. And he only seems to break in the count of two before he'd be disqualified. He did not break. I was correct. Nikolai did not break. Who's, wait a second. What's going on here? Ron hey, Shaw in there and John Callahan trying to separate those two. He got a restrain, Nikolai. He got carried away that time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee, Brian Sangster, has disqualified both wrestlers. This match is no contest. Match is declared no contest. The action is still going on up in that ring there. And we're back at the Boston Garden, May 15th, 1977. Bruno San Martino versus the Detroit Destroyer, Charge the Animal Steel. And he's the man, he's the man that has given Bruno San Martino the hottest test, because he's the animal. He rips apart the building, he pulls the stairs apart, tables, chairs, anything this animal can get his hands on. This and it's Bruno San Martino in the corner. Now watch out for George Steele. He's an animal. He'll sneak up on you like nobody's business looking for that foreign object. John Stanley got his hands full tonight with this Detroit Destroyer against the living legend Bruno San Martino. San Martino with a big arm drag now on the animal. And a second one sending the animal railing outside the ring. Look, he's trying to rip the building already. He's ripping down the barriers around the ring. He's throwing chairs in the ring. Sam Martino got to watch out tonight. It's a very dangerous match. Look out, he's got that foreign object, Bruno. Oh, right into the throat now. Sam Martino down in the middle of the ring. And George Animal Stale with a blatant choke hold on the living legend. And our referee, George Stanley, begins to count. The Detroit Destroyer now behind Sam Martino with the reverse headlock and San Martino right below the midsection. And another one and one up to the head now. And a second one now, Georgie. George Steele over the top rope now. San Martino ramming Steele into the barriers outside the ring. And it looks like George Steele's trying to bring all sorts of wood in the ring. Two by fours. Unbelievable now, San Martino in the midsection. One in the belly. And falls one up to the side of the head now. Big shot with the two by four. And George the Animal Steel, the Detroit Destroyer, down on the ropes now, feeling the raft of the Abutsi Strongman as Bruno up on the throat with two feet. John Stanley beginning to count now as George the Animal Steel tries to find his way outside the ring for a breather. Oh, yeah, these are the great Matt Classics. These are Bruno's days of professional wrestling. As you can see, Steele outside the ring breaking something up. He was known as the animal, and rightfully so. He's got a piece of a chair now. John Stanley tucked the chair, San Martino outside the ring as he rams his head into those plexiglass barriers outside the ring. Now down into the ring apron. San Martino's not gonna take nothing from the animal tonight. George the animal still with a low blow now on San Martino. And another heavy blow to the back of the head, sending San Martino railing down into the corner as the animal George still starts putting some heavy boots to the midsection of the living legend now caught in the corner another right hand across the forehead and another one and another one fall up to the back of the neck George the animal still not much of a wrestling match just some heavy heavy blows going back and forth San Martino got a dander up he's putting the boots hot and heavy George the animal still in the corner now the referee the referee can't control the match. He's ringing the bell. He's looking for some assistance now. San Martino going crazy. He knocked down John Stanley, the referee. Bruno's like a wild animal. Josh Steele getting choked in the corner. Bruno has taken enough of the shenanigans with all these foreign objects. And they're trying to get some help from the dressing room at this particular time. And a couple of referees are coming out. Tom McNeely as well as Eddie Santa Maria, but that's not gonna help him. 
San Martino like a wild bull. Choking on Giorgiano Mustel. Three referees, they can't control a couple of wrestlers coming into the ring now. San Martino cannot be contained here. The golden boy, Arnold Scolan. George Steele now trying to get up. These two wild animals look like Steele's to watch out for Steele. Steele's like an animal. He's trying to get back at Bruno. They can't separate these two wild wrestlers tonight. Unbelievable as George Steele finally gets ushered out of the ring. Bruno San Martino. Looks like Bruno was disqualified. Here's the return match, July 11th, 1977. Bruno San Martino in his return match against George the Animal Steel. And our special guest referee, Gorilla Monsoon, the Moncharian Giant. He's going to try to keep control of this match tonight. The Animal. A hairy, green-tongued savage. And the living legend, Bruno San Martino. There's the bell for our wrestling action. Oh, he's unbelievable, Josh Steele. But Bruno's moving right in. Boots in the section. Couple of right hands. Josh Steele is caught in the ropes now. Monsoon. Monsoon, the referee, trying to let him out. And San Martino, Josh Steele. Steele with that foreign object now. Oh, right into the throat of San Martino. Gorilla Monsoon trying to find that foreign object. A master at concealing it. George the Animal Steele, the Detroit Destroyer. Puts a big left boot to the chest of San Martino. In the corner now with a couple of heavy blows. This is the return match. This is the one that it's all about, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation title. The Animal used to come in during the October season. And he used to beat down all the wrestlers till he got to the number one contender slot. San Martino back in the corner now. He's going wild again. Bruno San Martino. Unbelievable boost to the midsection. Uncontrolling right hand to the side of the head now. And George the Animal Steel has woken up the lion. San Martino whips him over that top rope. Holding on now, trying to hold on. It's George the Animal Steel. Oh no! He's got that timekeeper's table. George the Animal Steel, the little monsoon trying to. Oh, Bruno rams his head into that timekeeper's table. That's a steel table. Steel top wooden frame. Bruno San Martino putting the boost to the animal, hot and heavy. He's going to show the animal tonight that he is the Abruzzi Strongman. He is the Worldwide Wrestling Federation Champion. And he's putting the boost to Josh Steele. Josh Steele looks like he might be out. Coming back now, looks like he's ripping apart that corner buckle with his teeth. He used to like to eat those corner buckles, rip them apart. Use that stuff on the inside, raking across the animal's face. Monsoon trying to find that object. San Martino got it now. Got that foreign object now on George the Animal Steel now. He's using it on the animal. Big blow to the side of the head of George the Animal Steel, who finds himself outside the ring. Up against those barriers again. These two wild men, wild Darty Brook here in Boston, ramming his head up against that plexiglass and the security outside the ring. Better stay away from Steele. And a second time, he rams him right into that plexiglass, San Martino. Gorilla Monsoon, he's got a chair, watch out, Steele. Oh, he hit Monsoon with it. San Martino gets the chair. Rams it across the head of Steele. Looks like a three count. Yes, Gorilla Monsoon. George the Animal Steel taking a nap now. The Golden Boy, Alan Scolan. And Bruno Neal still with the chair. And that'll be the end of this feud in Boston. Gorilla Monsoon got clocked with the chair. Oh, watch out, Steele got a chair. Oh, he clocked Monsoon. He clocked Monsoon on the head with that chair. The Animal. You know, Bruno San Martino, and I can't believe that I'm with my 8mm camera, Super 8 right here. Bruno, this is the camera that took all the film. You've got to hold it in your hand. That's amazing because I've seen some of the films you've taken, uh, and it's hard to believe. I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to these cameras, but it's hard to believe at all that you've shot and what fantastic work it came out of this little camera. It's unbelievable. My friend Danny got bet. I'd like you to say hi to Mr. Danny got bet because he used to carry the tripod for me up to the ring. Is that right? Danny, Danny how are you? I'll tell you. 
you so you were part of this and that's great because guys did a phenomenal job and we're coming to Boston Bru the legend Bruno San Martino be there or be square I hear it world Jim and some oh I'm so elated I can only be here it's me it's me it's BBB we're here with the great eight and the living legend Bruno San Martino all you people watch it from 10 to 11 it's the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling with this man the living legend tell him Bruno that's right. They'll be sure and watch it because if you want to see the best of uh, yesteryear and whatever, you, this is the place to be. Be there! And we're back here at the Boston Garden, the Greek Mac Classics, July 14th, 1979. It's Bruno San Martino, the living legend, against the Intercontinental Champion at this particular time, Pat Patterson, bringing the North American Championship here to the World Wide Wrestling Federation, San Martino Patterson. And Patterson jumps the bell. And you can see it's Bruno San Martino now getting attacked by Pat Patterson before the bell here in Boston Garden. And our referee for this one, Freddie Sparta, holding back Pat Patterson and this match should prove to be one of the greatest matches ever in the Boston Garden. One of my favorites. I'm the voice of the math classes from the Boston Garden. Rocky Raymond, and there's our bell for our wrestling action. It's Pat Patterson, San Martino. Car and elbow now. Patterson with the right hand, and Bruno returns one of his own. And a second one sending Patterson railing. A big boot to the midsection. Pat Patterson down. And a heavy blow to the side of the head of Patterson. Lifting him about three or four feet off the mat. San Martino ready for this one. After being attacked before the bell, San Martino grabbing the arm and wrenching down on Pat Patterson, the intercontinental champion here in Boston. And San Martino got an arm stretcher on Pat Patterson. And a hammerlock now by the living legend Bruno San Martino, one of the greatest champions of all time in the professional wrestling business. Oh, yeah. Traveled worldwide, beat them all. One of the greatest charismas in all of professional wrestling. Didn't need no ring music. No, 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 no fancy ring jackets, no ring attire. Just a pair of tights and a pair of boots. San Martino, what is one of his favorite holds? The hammerlock. Gets it down in the middle of the ring and wrenches six, seven, ten times. And the crowd would go bananas. Bruno San Martino, a gentleman in the ring and a gentleman out of the ring. Well, let me rephrase that. Could be very brutal in the ring now. Patterson with a big scoop slam on San Martino. Kick out by San Martino. Back on the arm now. It's Bruno San Martino with that arm bar. Wrenching down on it with a heavy, heavy knee. And our referee, Freddie Sparta, one of the main event wrestling referees here in Boston. Patterson shoots San Martino in one shoulder tackle by San Martino. Big hip toss by Pat Patterson. Kick out by San Martino. Arm drag by Bruno San Martino now. And Pat Patterson finding the wrath of San Martino. Two arm drags send him railing outside the ring. And the crowd going crazy for the Abruzzi strongman. Oh, yeah. Pat Patterson coming to you from California with that bleach blonde hair. Bruno San Martino wrenching his arm on that top rope. Bruno working one part of the body, being the arm, wrenching that arm across the top rope. San Martino in the corner now, putting the boots hot and heavy now. Pat Patterson finding himself on the bad end of Bruno San Martino's disposition as he rams into that steel post. Patterson outside the ring now, begging for mercy. Back in the ring now, he shoots San Martino into one shoulder tackle now. San Martino crisscrosses, hits the rope. A double axe handle sending San Martino outside the ring. Pat Patterson, one of the most devastating professional wrestlers of all time. Maybe known better in California with Ray Stevens as the Blonde Bombers in the California area. Irish whip now sending San Martino railing. Hip toss out of the corner, Pat Patterson in for a lateral press. Just a two count now on San Martino as Patterson wrenches up behind with the reverse headlock. San Martino coming out with the hammerlock now. Great mad action from the Boston guy. And these were the days of San Martino. These were the living legends days as he's got Patterson now elbow. Shoots him to the ropes now. One shoulder tackle by Pat Patterson, crisscross. Big scoop slam by San Martino. 
into a lateral press now. Just a two-count now as Patterson kicks out and a scoop slam of his own now on San Martino. Nobody home, Patterson. Arm dragged by San Martino. Look at the speed, look at the agility and ability of the living legend. Shoots him into the ropes now, one shoulder tackle low. Sidestep, Patterson hits him with the knee now. San Martino feeling the raft of Patterson. Side headlock by Pat Patterson. Shoots him in now, double knockdown. And this would bring a count now by the referee. And San Martino coming around. And Pat Patterson locks in the side headlock on Patterson. Shoulder tackle now, San Martino sent outside the ring. 10 count on the outside now as our referee starts to count up the living legend. San Martino up on his feet now and Patterson in the middle of the ring. Another scoop slam by Pat Patterson. Looks like Patterson's going up to that top rope. Oh, San Martino meets him with a big right hand. Spins him down around the turnbuckles. Pat Patterson caught off guard. Shoots him to the ropes now. San Martino with that devastating bear hug on Pat Patterson. The referee looking now for submission now. Patterson holding on, rakes the eyes of San Martino. And the living legend finds himself outside the ring, a little blurry. And Patterson's inside the ring now, meeting San Martino on the apron. A couple of heavy right hand blows to the back of the neck, a left, a right. Pat Patterson, one of the great punches in professional wrestling. And San Martino pushes him back now. Right hand of his own. Another right hand of San Martino coming back. Patterson outside the ring. San Martino's gonna ram him. Oh! Patterson sliding down on that hardwood floor here in the Boston Garden. Patterson outside the ring. All messed up. San Martino wants him in the ring. Another boot to the side of the head, followed up by a right hand. It's San Martino, the Abruzzi strong man. And Patterson swinging wildly. San Martino right on the mark. And a boot to the head now. And Patterson looking for higher grounds. Trying to run outside the ring. Catch a breather, but San Martino, no way. Another right hand, they're going back and forth, keep the nail. Oh, they're battling each other hot and heavy. Heavy, heavy blows back and forth. Patterson outside the ring. San Martino in the ring. Another right hand blow to the forehead. Another one, and Patterson finding out why San Martino, the living legend. And Patterson outside the ring, looking for a breather. San Martino follows him out. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. Another right hand blown out, San Martino. Patterson really out on his feet. Watch out, Patterson's got a chair now. Oh, down across the back of San Martino. He caught him with that wooden chair. Patterson back in the ring. The referee's counting. Oh no, San Martino might have been counted out. Patterson wins the match. Hey, we're back here. Revere TV, that's right, your social security cable with the Boston bad boy, Rocky Rain. This week we're showing you a little different side to how we do it here at Revere TV, now the controls, how we put it all together. That's right, we take it from the, the front, we bring it to the back, then we put it together. That's right, right here at Revere TV. And this week we got a great, great, great show. This is our last match on the Bedlam from Boston. If you people can remember the Bedlam from Boston, let me tell you something, you got a good memory, because it goes way, way back before the WWE. W.E. Raw, before all the great shows with the A.W.A., I.C.C.W., before Texas Championship Wrestling, and this week we got a big, big match with Big John Callahan, that's right, with who? Rocky Raymond, so I hope you enjoyed it this week, Bedlam from Boston. Everyone, is it one fall match or to the curfew? In the corner to my right. From San Francisco, weighing 235 pounds, Rocky Raymond. And his opponent in the corner to my left, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing 271 pounds, the Baltimore Terror, Big John Callahan. One fall match or two curfew. Rocky Raymond. 
Big John's out of Baltimore. And uh, the Rockies from San Francisco. Yes. Well, when each meets West, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, Bedlam for Boston. And that's what we got for you today. And we have had a lot of Bedlam from Boston. We've had a lot of action here today, uh, Chris. I I've loved every minute of it. It has been exciting, and uh, it's enough to take your voice away <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> You're right. On drag. Rocky Raymond applying that uh, was applying a, and still is an arm bar on Big John Callahan. John is uh, pleading for mercy now. Doing a number on his shoulder and upper arm there. Rocky is going to rip that arm right out. Head scissors and a kick out. On our next show, we have the killer back. We've got Dan Petty, Dominic Danucci, the Soul Brothers. John Valiant, Steve Thunder, Ed Bonzo, Golden Boy Madison, Big John Callahan, and lots more for you. This is our final match today, or until curfew. Referee breaking that because of a choke. If you notice, Big John Callahan has that uh, thumb on his right hand taped up. And I guarantee you, before this match is over, we're going to see him use it. Knee right into the shoulder of Rocky Raymond. Body slam. Up to the top rope. Big John misses it. Rocky gets out of the way just in time. Here's a kick right to the chest. Fist right into the stomach. And up to the chin. Back drop. A big back drop there because it's a big John Callahan. <laughs> Here we go. Power slam. All right. Only got the count of two that time, though. Rocky using the time to regain some of his uh, strength there. Big John seems to be uh, hurt from that power slam. He's going to go for a rake to the face now in order to get his composure back. Elbow to the shoulders of Rocky Raymond. Ooh, that was a powerful takedown there. Ripping at the facial muscles of Rocky. I think Big John studied to be a dentist, Chris. That's why he's <laughs> ripping at the mouth there. Backdrop. There's a reverse for you. I'm not sure. Was that a count of three, or do we have a curfew there? I didn't there? see a three count. It was only two. I don't know what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, the curfew time has elapsed, and this match is declared a draw. Match is a draw. Hey, hey, hey. I hope you enjoyed this week of Bedlam from Boston with who? Rocky Raymond, the Boston bad boy, was showing you in the back a little bit of all the great things that we can do here at uh, Revere TV. And I hope you enjoyed all the matches, whether it was Big Buck Slattery, that big giant man from the, uh, the Appalachian Mountains, and then whether it be Ricky Sexton from Washington, D.C., the man that was a legend in the old WWF. And then, of course, we had, that's right, Ed Bonzo, the monkey man. Ed Bonzo came to the ring many, many times with that monkey. And then we had the beast, that big beast and hairy animal. That's right, Nikolai Rasputin. And then, of course, in the final match, we had Big John Callahan trying to defeat 
Rocky Raymond, and we hope you enjoyed all these great matches from where? Bedlam from Boston.